Hey folks, welcome to Death Valley. I arrived here pretty late last night. The sun had just set and I wasn't quite sure where I was going to stay. And I found this amazing spot right off the road, but there's no traffic out here. And it's been so incredibly peaceful. The stars were amazing. I could see the Milky Way coming right over where I was sleeping and the stars were just so bright. It was like they were, the sky was full of all these little lights and you can see all the constellations. I saw at least three shooting stars. So it was really a magical place to be. I was always curious about Death Valley as a kid. I mean, the name is so provocative, Death Valley. I remember hearing about how it's, I think it's the lowest elevation, several hundred feet below sea level, and that that creates this pocket of heat and dryness out here. I think we're in the Mojave Desert or near the Mojave Desert. So we're going to head and go on a little tour where you have a couple of days to do this. And so why don't you come along? Hey folks, we are at the Mesquite Flats Sand Dunes, which is a collection of sand dunes here in the valley. And these are spectacular. They kind of remind me of the sand dunes in outside of Yuma, Arizona. Very different from the sand dunes we saw in New Mexico at White Sands. So let's go take a look. I'm here at the end of October, October 30th, and it's hot. It's in the 80s, but the sun is so intense, and it's still better than the summertime. Got up to 130 degrees here in August. Whew. Hey folks, well, wow, I just left the sand dunes and it was incredible. The sand is so soft, so beautiful. Um, but I was, boy, it was getting hot. I, I'm pretty sure we're up in the 90s at this point. And so I had to do a little clothing change. Now, t-shirt and shorts, that's more like it. So we're here at the Borax Mine Works which is where they started mining borax in 1883. Borax was considered the white gold of the desert. Let's check it out. So this is where they would boil that top layer peeled from the salt flats. The borax would rise to the top and they would let it crystallize and then dry. They would use 20 mules to carry these huge carts full of borax and water, probably for the workers, as they were making their way out of Death Valley. It seems impossible to explain how gorgeous this space is. 
in real life. Just the colors, textures, it's magnificent. This right here is Zabrinsky Point, the space where you can see the remnants of volcanic ash on the top. And all of this formation is the result of lots of water melting or ice melting and water crashing with um, because of earthquakes. It's creating this very dramatic landscape. I've gone off the beaten path a little bit and I'm so glad I did. This is just so spectacular to be right up here so you can touch this sand. And, you know, who knows how long this space will have this kind of access. Off the main trail. I found this. Let's see what's up here. Well, I came quite a ways. I'm not able to get up any further. But wow, this sure is beautiful up here. looking here at the Death Valley map. I want to just make a note of where I stayed. So I took the 178 through here and the place I stayed at the other night was here off of Panamint Valley Road. Right here there's a little stop where you can hike in and it looks like that is close to the Panamint Range and Telescope Peak which is right here and I was kind of across from there. I came up here and turned into Panama, Panama Springs where I got some gas, which was a very good idea, uh, although it was 550, but I've uh, really helped to get up this hill, which was really intense. And then came through here, stopped at the immigrant station, Soaptop so wells or sand dunes were here. I've come down the 190 on this side 
tonight I stayed at Texas Spring Campground, which is a federal campground here near Furnace Creek. We're gonna come through this road to stop at the Badwater Basin. And we'll continue through here, all the way to Shoshone, and then over to Vegas. This area is called Badwater because a surveyor, when he came out here, uh, brought his mule and tried to get his mule to drink from that water right there. And the mule refused. And the surveyor called this area Badwater. And we know that now that the mule refused to drink this water because the high levels of salt, it's not poisonous, but there are high levels of salt. Look at that ground. Okay, here we are at the lowest elevation in North America. We are minus 282 feet below sea level. It's pretty incredible to think about being a little bit closer to the Earth's crust. You can see these salt crystals amongst these patches of mud. Okay, it is time to say goodbye to Death Valley. And what an incredible visit this was. It's definitely one of the most unique places I've been to on the planet. It's just vast openness, you know, it's sort of cradled by these two mountain ranges and the incredible color variations and the volcanic component. And there's a fault line here. And so you get this water, mountain dryness kind of colliding. And it's, at the same time, it's very desolate and quiet. My favorite part was the night skies. The stars at night were just, I've never seen them so clear, um, at least here in, in North America. Really beautiful, amazing place. Thank you, Death Valley.